Today we're taking a look at this Sunpack 4200XL Platinum Plus tripod. Big reason I picked it up is because it's so compact, it's easy to take around, it's easy to store places. Decent tripod, but there are a lot of flaws, a lot of drawbacks to something like this. Let's get started. With an extremely compact tripod, one of the drawbacks is the maximum height. So in this case, 42 inches, it's very short, but in a lot of situations that I need it for like b-roll or just any type of tripod it can work well enough. The most obvious use case for a tripod like this would be with smartphones, action cameras, extremely small things that work well enough with it don't put a larger load on the tripod. I did try out one of the smartphones of course with all the vlogging all of the b-roll stuff. There are three axes of movement or control on the tripod head. You've got the rotation with this knob. The knob can be very difficult to loosen sometimes it's just some plastic. Also this long arm that you can do the tilt up and down. The last bit is orientation, either landscape or vertical. In that case you only have those specific orientations. You can't go in the middle of them because it is spring-loaded and it locks down on the vertical or horizontal axis. You can of course use the tripod without the legs extended but the issue with this specific tripod is that the legs don't spread out too much when they're not extended. It could easily tip over if you're not careful. Now I have seen people mod this tripod online. I have not modded mine. The way that this tripod works is when you extend the legs they have to be fully extended and then you lock it down by rotating one of the legs itself. You can extend one of the legs less or more than one of the other ones so they have to be fully extended and locked down before it works as a normal tripod. Considering that you can't have a surface that is not very level that's a big drawback for this tripod. With the cell phone I did try the extreme vlogging with vertical so if you do IGTV or any type of thing where you're doing vertical video, vertical photos, this will work decently well for that stuff if you're into it. Most of my past uses for this tripod is with a full-size camera, at least the EFM cameras, so I did have the M5 with me. Tried it out, you could see that it is a little wobbly here and there, but it does hold up the camera decently well. So if you're trying to do photos or video with that, I do the b-roll stuff with the video sometimes, I might use this tripod if I want a super compact setup. To get around some of the wobble, some of the shake naturally from this tripod, you can use a two-second timer on your camera or use a wired cable release. So with the M5, I recently picked up a wired cable release, but it works nicely with this so you can deal with that shake and get a decent photo out of it. Of course I did have to try out the vlogging as well with this tripod and the M5. Did the vlogging with the smartphone, I might as well do it with the M5 as well. It's working. It's working. Kind of. With something like this it gives you that bare minimum flexibility to have some type of tripod when you need it. The leg extension on this tripod can be finicky, it can be difficult to get them locked down, at least this one. When you pull the legs out, sometimes one of the legs doesn't fully extend. But once it's locked down, it doesn't seem to be too bad with how much weight you can put on it. So I haven't had any specific issues with a standard EFM camera and this tripod. There are a lot of drawbacks, but I can see some uses and I have found some uses for a tripod like this I would not recommend it unless you really really needed something small and compact but it is around it's an option. So that was a look at the Sunpack 4200XL Platinum Plus tripod. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.